Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this fall makeup tutorial for you guys. I love it. It's super purple, super vampy, perfect for fall. So if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this look, then please keep watching. All right, so let's get started. It feels weird not already having my brows done on camera, so we're just gonna try it today and see what happens. You can hear any noise like cars driving by or anything. I have my window open because it's fall now, so there's no need to... Oh, that's a bird. I thought someone was trying to get in. Um, there's no need to have the air conditioner on anymore when we set electricity. So I have my window open because I get hot. You know, when you do your makeup, it gets hot. So I'm just going to be, like, carving out my brows like normal, like as if I was concealing them. So I'm going to cover all the hair and just prime my eyes now. You guys know what I'm using. You already know. It's the next first base primer in Skin Tone. Just packing that on. The best eye base ever. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with a brush. Just because I did pack on a, l a lot, actually a little bit too much. And then I'll go in and just use the warmth of my finger to really make sure that there's no, you know, inconsistencies. It's 100% smooth. So I'm going to go in with Fairy Tail right here. And I'm just going to take that and put it all over my lid. My lid. Ma, 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 You talk all that. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty. I'm just gonna pack it, like I said, all over the lid. And then now I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna pick up, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Friday actually and just, yeah, start blending out the purple using Friday. I've been liking this method of uh, packing on the dark color and then blending out, um, using a transition shade to blend it out rather than going in with the transition shade and then uh, going in with the dark color. I feel like just packing it on the lid has been better and I got that tip from Jasmine Hand. She had, I don't know if her name was Mia Connors or a well-known Australian makeup artist did her makeup on her channel and when she did the black smoky eye, that's what she did. So I've just been using that technique for all smoky eyes and then going in and packing the shade back on. But um, I really like it that way, like a lot better her method and I'm going in with a big old fluffy blending brush and just a blending inverse I know it looks like a mess but that's how you know all smoky eyes will look at first they look a hot mess and then once you blend and you have your foundation on the lashes on everything comes together I'm gonna do this other eye off camera and I'll be back and now I put my concealer on I like to let it sit for a while so now we're going to blend it out, and I've been putting my concealer underneath my foundation because it's just a little too light right now, and now that summer's over and everything, I don't know, it's just too light, it's not working for me now, and um, yeah, I don't like it, and I always have a problem finding concealers that work for me, they're either too neutral or um, too yellow, and I look like a banana, and I'm like, super yellow and stuff, which I don't want. For foundation, I took one pump of the LA Girl coverage, uh, Full Coverage Foundation HD one in Warm Caramel, and I'm just dying that on my face. And I'm just using my Moda Cosmetic Foundation Brush to just not really stipple it in, just like pounce it in. I guess stipple it, I guess. And I love this foundation. I am going to go to Ulta when I get paid this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to go to Ulta. I'm going to pick up a new foundation and concealer. I really want to get the Makeup Revolution um, foundation and concealers. I did a review on the concealer. I think once I get my shade, I will like it better because I really did like the uh, formula. And then I know the foundation has been out for a while, but if you guys want to see a review on it, let me know. I'm going to cream contour, and to do that, I'm using Beautiful Bronze by LA Girl Concealer. I'm just going to apply a little bit. Cream contour. Okay, guys, I just uh, contoured. I put the cream contour in all the normal places I contour. And I'm just blending that out with a stipple brush. So now I'm going to take the clean side of my beauty blender and just really push all that product in so I don't look cakey when I go to powder my face. Because cakey is not cute. And look at that now. It's clean. Look how much product it picked up. I'm going to go under my eye, make sure everything's blended, good, creasing out, and then I'm going to switch to the butt of the beauty blender and go over my mouth, and this should really make sure that everything is really pressed into my skin, 
and it's gonna look nice and seamless still when I go to set. And I don't bake, I just like to take my beauty blender and stick it in the powder still just so it um, sets under my eye better. I feel like pressing it into my skin is a lot better. And I, sometimes I pick up too much so I have to bounce with the other eye and then I just press it all in. And this is the RCMA loose powder. Really like this. There was a time, I think I tweeted it, I don't know if I mentioned it on my channel or not, but I wasn't liking this. I felt like it was taking my product away, but I was just blending out my concealer too much to the point that there was nothing there. So when I set it, there wasn't anything to set. So, look at this. Like, it just sat underneath my eyes so flawlessly. And I have been getting oily, so I'm going to set my chin, just my T-zone area, pretty much. I know you're wondering, well, if you're oily, why do you use that dewy primer? Just because I just get oily in my um, T-zone. But everywhere else is dry, so I do need that dewy and hydrating primer. And that's more hydrating, I feel like, than dewy. I guess because I'm already using a dewy... Um, foundation that's why it's not like I can't tell that much of a difference but it definitely is hydrating my skin so now we're going to contour I'm using mocha from the it's um from the BH cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray palette favorite shade to contour with I want to pick up the BH cosmetics bronzer but I don't know how dark they run and I haven't seen a lot of videos I'll try and check again but I want to pick out a little bronzer because I'm always using like the same products but Right now, I've just been focusing on, like, saving my money and investing in my future. Now I'm going to highlight with Radiant. So, ooh, that's a lot. Well, you can never have too much highlight, but, you know, when you pack on too much, it's hard to blend. And I love to put it on my nose. Even though I get oily, I just, I don't know, I just have to have it on my nose. Like, I feel weird without it. Now we're going to finish up these eyes, and I'm just going to take Passion, which is the dark purple, and apply that to my lower lash line. But anyway, let's do this lip. I'm going to do Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Stew in the shade Video Vixen. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up this fall tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me kind of chit chat, the like talk through tutorial, not chit chat, but a nice talk through tutorial, my second fall tutorial of the season. I just want to bust out as much as I can before fall is over because I feel like it just flies by. So if you guys recreate this look, you know the drill, tag me. If you guys in this tutorial on this hairstyle or what, like I said, I've been wearing my hair natural lately, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, it's the Nick's first space. Oh, I spit. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, guys. Again, another bus? But, um, yeah, I've just been investing in my future, so makeup hasn't been my top priority. And you know what that's called? Growth.